so I wanted to see how well I could record a video of me telling a story with this kind of editing. The only problem is coming up with a story. It's surprisingly difficult to do. Or it's almost like one of those like awkward moments where you just need to find a way to break the silence. For this, it's in front of a video camera. But if it weren't, it'd just be like... Christian Bale. But, in this particular case, I was able to think of a story, and I've already told it to like, numerous people, but not to a video camera. It's a story about injuries, or one specific injury. I have only had two major injuries. Well, I guess I've had a third, but it was whenever I was really young. You probably can't really see it, but there's a scar on my wrist. Right there. That's whenever I uh, was playing on a fireplace whenever I was really, really young. I was on top of one of those, like, fireplaces that sits about that high off the ground. And it's like a platform where there's a burner. Well, I was standing on top of that and I was holding a metal toy truck and I fell into a pile of yarn and CDs. Just standing up there, just... And all of a sudden, I'm like like bleeding down my my arm. It's almost like I... It, it probably looked a little bit like I tried to commit suicide, but as you can tell by these... by the size of the stitch... stitch marks, that's obviously not true. Because it's, it's just too big to imply that I was old. And, I, and as far as I can tell, most... you know, five to ten year olds aren't exactly suicidal. I sincerely hope. The other one actually was on the same hand, right here. I sliced it in a meat slicer, like a Hobart meat slicer. My two fingers are a little bit awkwardly tilted. This one is just like a little bit more slanted. Anyway, that was a long day. But yeah, I actually have a different story. One that's that I'm gonna go into more detail about. So one morning I was, you know, planning on planning around going to dinner for my brother's birthday, talking to him and my parents, talking about where we're gonna go and all that. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep that day, so I was yawning a lot. Oh, what did you think about it? But anyway, I was uh so I was sitting at my computer and just doing whatever, probably organizing music or something like that. But anyway, I was just sitting there. All of a sudden I clicked my jaw out of place like I normally do to yawn. And then I can't click it back into place. I yawned and I dislocated my jaw while I was yawning. I have always been able to click my jaw out of place whenever I yawn to get like this sort of Steven Tyler kind of yawn to where my jaw would pop out of place. I, I don't let it happen anymore. Since I'm thinking about yawning, I'm about to demonstrate what I do. I'm sleepy. I've always been able to click my jaw out of place and then click it right back after I finish yawning. But this particular time, I couldn't. My heart all of a sudden just starts racing. Just, oh crap, I, I think I just broke my face. My face is broken. So I stand up and go to the bathroom to see what my face looks like, and I'm like tripping over Coke, the local house cat. And he's meowing uncontrollably while I'm just freaking out, just pacing back and forth, just playing with my jaw, trying to get it to go back into place, and I'm just like totally freaking out, like, I was pushing on it, and that made it hurt, and I couldn't push it back into place, and then I noticed that my bottom teeth were further forward than my top teeth. I don't have a, an overbite. The crazy thing about it is that it didn't really hurt until about a half hour after it happened. So, that was lucky. But I still thought I really broke myself. But I'm sitting there looking in the mirror, and I'm just like, wow, I look like something out of a freaking zombie movie. Like that girl in the closet in the ring. 
I'm just playing with my jaw and notice how creepy I was I was looking and I was just like, oh, what am I going to do? Am I going to call 911, have them bring an ambulance, or am I going to go to one of my neighbors and say, uh, do you know what to do? Or, uh, I, uh, uh. That's another problem, is that I could only speak in vowels. That was fun. I don't know, I do I have a holiday. I have I so I eventually decide that it would be a good idea if I were to just drive myself to the ER. My, I, I had a big adre adrenaline rush because of this, but I still thought I was okay to drive. And also, thankfully, I was pretty close. And I did fine. Be before I left, I took a rag and I wetted it down so I could put it over my face because I was worried about my mouth getting too dry. And then I went, uh... Oh jeez, and then I would start gagging. But as soon as I got into the parking lot is whenever I started gagging. Never actually like threw up or anything like that. But um, I was very glad whenever I finally got there. I, I just like walked in there and she just like looks at me and she's like, Well, I think I already know what's wrong with you. <laughs> so I like smile a little bit. And then I grab my ID and hand it to her. Then she checked my ID and then put the bracelet on my wrist and then told me to sit down and I'm like thank you thank you so I sat down and I'm sitting there for like five minutes and then I walk back with the doctor and then they sit me down at a table she gives me like one of these little swabs because my mouth was getting dry and I needed to do something to wet it down otherwise I was going to start gagging nurse came in and started asking me questions so I give her one of these Thankfully, she understood what it meant, and then she grabs me a, um, a uh, piece of paper and a uh, pen so I could write down all my responses to her questions. After that's all done, I sit there laying on, on, that, on that paper on that bed for like, I don't know, like five to ten minutes only, thankfully, again. A doctor comes in and... He starts making an attempt that you to to reseat your jaw that you do to like a football player or a boxer whenever they accidentally dislocate theirs, where you just like put your your thumbs on your bottom molars, wrap your other four fingers around the bottom of the jaw, and then try to Pull your jaw down, push it back, and then pull it back up into place. Now that didn't work, see, because my the, my cheek muscles and my jaw muscles were too tense. So they had to put me out. Counted back from ten, got to like seven, and then woke up literally only like five minutes later. And my jaw was back in place. I had already been texting people all day, and... I mentioned to them that I'm going to the ER because I dislocated my jaw. And they eventually showed up. Like, not long after I woke up, they showed up. My brother's carrying a laptop that he got for his birthday. They were just like, hey, Michael, so, uh, so what happened to you? And I'm like, oh, I dislocated my jaw because I got one. Then we left. My brother drove my car home with me in it and our parents followed behind us. That's probably one of my fondest memories. It's a